What is going on guys? My name is Blue Spartan. Welcome back to another episode of Road to Gold. For episode 5, we are going to be getting the G36C Gold. The G36 is actually one of my favorite weapons. I love the gun. I like the way the gun looks and I also like the performance from the gun. But guys, all we need today is 5 kills to get this gun gold, just like every gun I've done so far. So we're going to hop into a game, get it gold, then we'll go from there. And we're going to turn on a guy for a first kill. There is a guy taking B. I think it's a sniper, though. Did he? Oh, that was the sniper. He's dead. There's someone. Oh, thank you, teammate. Kill you. There's one more over here. Drop shot. Oh, another one. There we go. We're already 4-0. This is such a great start. We only need one more kill, and there's a guy taking B. Let's see if we can shoot him in the back. Oh, our teammate killed him. All right, that's that's all right. We'll just kill this guy instead. There we go. That was one of my quickest episodes yet. And it's on the big map like Overgrown. Let's wait for the gold to pop up so you guys can see that. And there it is, G36C gold. We're going to put gold on this real quick. So here's what it looks like gold with the Battle Worn kit on it. Again, I really like the way gold looks in this game. I also like putting the kit on it just because I do not like the entire gun covered in gold. I know some people like that, or maybe most people like that, but I do like to have some of the gun a different color, like black or something. I don't want the entire thing to look gold. I think it looks kind of cheesy. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, though. Okay, so so now let's get into some tips on how you can get the G36C gold faster. As always, I'll have all the headshots that I've gotten with the G36 playing in the background so you can see the headshots. Moving on, I like to call the G36 a connection gun. And what I mean by that is, if you are on a good server and you have good connection, then the G36 is going to shred and it's going to be one of the best guns in the game. However, the G36C can perform quite badly if you have bad connection or you're on the wrong server. That makes this gun extremely unreliable and it raises the question should you be playing core or hardcore now hardcore definitely wouldn't be a bad option especially if you put a red dot on this because it could be extremely accurate the iron sights are kind of big and clunky and they block a lot of your vision so I would definitely go with the red dot attachment now you're probably thinking I'm contradicting myself when you're looking in the background gameplay and I'm not using a red dot and that's because that was my first game and using the g36 you need 25 kills to get a red dot sight and I just didn't have an locked yet now going back if you guys should be playing core or hardcore hardcore is definitely on the table but core might be able to win because of one map we all should know called shipment now I'm not entirely sure if the hardcore playlist has shipment in it but I can only imagine that being a shit show in a super difficult environment to get headshots in here's the thing though when you're playing shipment even if your opponents are bullet sponging you're still gonna get more headshots on shipment than you would on any other map in the game but if you guys do decide to play core make sure you have stopping bar on to help counteract the bullet sponging and as I say in all my videos make sure you're playing objective game modes and you're also playing on a three or four sensitivity okay guys it's about wraps up today's episode good luck for anybody trying to get this gun gold just make sure to follow my tips and you guys should be good make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy today's episode also subscribe if you want to see more episodes in the future this has been boost barn and I'll catch you guys in my next video peace